Hi, welcome to the Red Court Tarot. I am Nikita and today we are doing a love reading for Librans. Uh, this is a very interesting time for all of us with a lot of endings happening to those where we have finished our karmic cycles, our lessons, where we have cleared our tests. A lot of us uh, have been tested in the recent past or it is happening as I am recording. And so now the brand new chapters are opening up. So I thought this is a wonderful time to see who is the person you will be in your next relationship with. Whatever your status currently is. But also please do check out your situationship readings as per your individual situation. Uh, if you haven't yet checked out your zodiac sign readings, please check them out. And for a lot of other details, please watch the August overview. That energy is going to continue for a little longer time. So the theme for you my dear liberals is tick tock so there is something that uh, you might be feeling the pressure the universe might be applying pressure uh, feeling that you are running out of time if you have been uh, casual about something been procrastinating something uh, you may might know that you need to start uh, or make a move or talk to someone or make your offer well you're running out of time that seems to be the message you know okay so our first question is please tell us about the personality about the person libra will be in the next relationship with I changed the angle a little bit today because I wanted to share my gorgeous flowers with all of you and then the new moon happened and the lion's gate happened and well the energies always affect me uh, but this time I uh, it was a double whammy and <laughs> I will be making an announcement about it on the channel as well but because of that I couldn't continue with my recordings and uploading so I'm sorry for the delay by a couple of days <sighs> so please show us the personality of this person coming towards my viewer for their next relationship with Six of Sword, the High Priest, this is the Hierophant card, Three of Pentacle, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you might have been manifesting someone in your life and uh, this person who is coming in, uh, either they are leaving a very uh, turbulent time period that can be in any area of their life uh, or they are uh, someone who helps people get across turbulent times, you know. And along with the high priest, this person could be a spiritual healer or a you know I'm, I'm hearing too many words um, a spiritual teacher it could be someone involved with Reiki it could be someone who just doesn't even know that they are a spiritual teacher but they talk so much sense or help with just with their vibration the conversation when they talk their conversations have key words i know for the longest time that was one of my spiritual gifts you know that i uh, could heal people with just putting there were some just key words that would come out in the middle of the conversation and it would activate certain things in people so 
this person is definitely a team player and um, they might be very well to do or they might be someone who lives in a joint family uh, but there is going to be prosperity with this person um, it might be someone you work with okay uh, a colleague it can be someone uh, this is obviously for different different people that I'm telling you all the options possible it could be someone uh, in higher up authority in a government job um, someone who uh, is very musically inclined someone who's very studious okay so that might be the personality I'm not particularly seeing any uh, zodiac sign except uh, Taurus and Capricorn all the earth signs Virgo Capricorn Taurus is what I'm seeing okay and the time is now okay so our next question is when this person comes into Libra's life how will they mentally perceive Libra or my viewer how are they going to see what are they going to think about Libra what's going on in their mental space for my Librans that's the moon in reverse eight of pentacles page of pentacles knight of wands in reverse okay liberans <laughs> it's the cards not me i'm just interpreting the cards the person might look at you and feel that your emotions are, are all over the place um, that you need a cleansing a healing there are secrets in the situation uh, that you are carrying a burden of a lot of like baggage from the past or something like that that you are not in your alignment you're not in balance uh, they do see you as someone very hard working again I'm getting the feeling this person might have worked with you or is currently your colleague or is somehow involved uh, in the workspace where you work okay or it could be through work that you've met this person you know um, they do see you as a bit immature than them not necessarily in a negative space but they think of you as someone who has a distance to cover uh, you are young they see you as uh, someone who uh, you know has not seen the brutality of life i'm not saying you haven't the aura that's how they're perceiving you as uh, maybe they have mastered something or they on top of um, their game or something like that but what concerns me is your behavior makes this person think that perhaps you're a player if not a player that you might be inconsistent that you might uh, not be able to make up your mind and that you might be very um, distracted you know you start one thing and then without completing it going on to something else you know th that your energy is very scattered not just your emotions but your energy is also scattered and that's how this person might perceive you so what about the emotions what emotions will this person have towards my viewer liberans what emotions will this person hold towards my librans page of wands they do find you adorable they think you are bubbly and uh, enthusiastic very passionate you know um, 
you make this person smile is what i'm hearing uh there is this soulmate card you might have known each other either in a previous life or there's a sense of familiarity with each other you might have cut this person off or they might have cut you off uh many years ago many years ago i'm hearing uh they are confused in this moment uh they do think about you a lot but they don't want to be carried away because like i said they might think of you as undependable unreliable or immature or a inconsistent kind of an energy um they are feeling very emotionally burdened uh i'm going to clarify that is this burden with something to do with the liberin or something else there's a burden there's a package here okay four of swords the healing card five of pentacles the me uh, mentality of lack feeling left out in the cold and the king of pentacles so emotionally this person might have uh recently got divorced king of pentacles is a husband card for me someone who is a boss who is very well to do who has a successful business and empire but they need to heal from some situation where they felt left out in the cold or this is your situation and they are able to feel that within you if you are someone who is broken hearted who is struggling financially or has been you know kicked out by someone emotionally you know like a break up or a getting dumped kind of a situation they might be perceiving you as someone who needs healing who needs someone stable um you know in your life so take it as it resonates okay so what are the intention of this person towards my liberant viewers what are their true intentions they want to help you heal this person is sent to you by the universe to help you regain your inner balance to teach you about patience and persistence to help you get out of this overthinking your stress your nightmares you know uh to help you overcome this overthinking if that is your habit it might be a reconciliation with this person like i said it might you might have known hey, uh, this person a while back but you are going to really have a good time they want to help you celebrate life again to get you out of this depression that you might be in you know you're focusing on the past you're focusing on your past losses and uh, this person is being sent to you by the divine to help you overcome that that's amazing so thank say thank you universe and you know okay so uh, how is this going to play out for my librarians how is this going to play out how is this going to play out okay so it will start off either with an argument or a very quick message a very cold kind of a message it's not going to be a romantic message um you know it like because if your colleagues or or someone who you have met through your work it could be something that starts with that and then intuitively um you are going to understand something or this person is going to realize because they are spiritual and might i just tell you i have to point this out um a lot of people i personally don't but in this deck yes uh consider the high priestess and here because he's the high priest they are divine counterparts and that is why 
the divine the angels are working behind the scene to make this happen for you so um some old situation has to die fully so that this fresh new beginning can come towards you um if if there is a marriage involved it is probably uh, going to end and this person is going to become your next spouse because the old cycle has continued for a very long time but it has kept you in a state of lack okay you will have to choose you will have to weigh your options and you will have to choose between the two king of pentacles you will have to choose one of the situations has to end okay tell me more how is this going to play out so you uh, have been for the longest time being uh, feeling lonely uh, not that you don't get what you deserve or what you have been trying to manifest you know there has been this whole feeling of uh no you don't belong or you know who is my person that kind of feeling is extremely strongly coming through and several cards are clarifying that right so it could be because of someone who is extremely stubborn or you are being very stubborn there could be an aries in this but now what is happening is you are being asked to take charge of your life to choose your happiness sun is the happiest card in the deck it talks about prosperity success happiness joy everything wonderful but it could also be a leo involved but the point is you have to take charge of your life either you can sit and feel sorry for yourself and you know keep cursing your luck and your fates that you are stuck in this unhappy situation or you can choose to heal yourself allow a very stressful situation to die so that a fresh new beginning can come to you definitely it can be any of the fire signs as well uh leo aries or sagittarius i'm seeing aries and uh leo here and with the temperance card it can be sagittarius as well and then the queen of wands so you are gorgeous you are attractive you have brilliant ideas you're full of energy and it's time for you to take charge of your life and take action tick tock tick tock um uh, because the time is now are you going to take this brand new offer the universe is sending your way or are you going to stay stuck this is happening for a uh, most zodiac signs at this time like i said with the lion's gate if you haven't watched that reading uh and the august reading please watch it to understand that things have ended a lot of huge cycles have ended even 1000 year old cycles have ended and now it's time for us to step towards our future and people are afraid and they are in resistance because of familiarity or knowing something or uh, comfort complacency and that's not a good enough reason the universe does not wait for people so a lot of people are also going to be getting a lot of tower moments at this time and some of us who uh, were put through the test or will be going through the test and if those who have flunked it it's going to be another 12 year cycle with the same lessons now we are asking for divine signs and synchronicities uh for you librans so that you know uh so that you know when be it with this person or that this is the person or whatever other messages the universe wants to send your way all right just scratched my cheek 
so pink pink could of course be a significant significant color you or them or both might be wearing pink when you meet or something it could be the favorite color of one of you but what i'm hearing is you or uh, libra need to heal your upper heart chakra maybe work with a rose quartz you know and keep it uh, on you and meditate take in the energies because you need to learn uh, or you are being at this time br being brought the energy of compassion loving higher form of love unconditional love innocent love you know you might have been someone who only knew the concept of a <coughs> um, a relationship where you are you know the traditional relationship which is goal oriented you know you marry to have kids you marry to have blah uh, to have financial security and now you are being brought in energy of unconditional love and so you um, need to carry a rose quartz on you and meditate with it and work with it wear a pendant if you need to okay so you are being given this opportunity you might be seeing pictures and images or if where you live possibly a real rainbow might appear as a synchronicity or as a sign from the universe that it is time for your renewal and that's why you are being given the second opportunity can you find the courage to take the blessing the universe is sending your way you might see orbs around you if you do not know what orbs are please go and look it up you might be seeing the number 888 new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon okay so if you have been feeling the lack if you've been really uh, struggling with your finances as well uh, well abundance is coming and not only that abundance is not just about money it is about luck it's about success it's about opportunities it's about love so you might be seeing uh, signs or shapes in the clouds okay so what you went through or what is coming in ahead of you was uh, the karmic plan it was in your akashic records this is a part of a cosmic plan all right so even if you might be wondering if this was my person and i had already met him why couldn't i have just gotten married to him because there were learnings there was karma there was debt to be cleared uh, there were things you had to go through to evolve and grow uh, if you're seeing ladybugs in any form brooches earrings um some on online website images anything at all or a real ladybug good luck is coming your way you're also being encouraged at this time to write your new person might be a writer they might always carry a pen with them a red pen or uh, they might be someone who's very creative red rose of course symbolizes true love and there are two roses here the pink and red one uh, that might be significant maybe that's a bouquet you might be giving them or they might be giving you or it might be in the space where you both meet take it as it resonates so my dear librans i leave you with so much love and light do remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and the question i'm asking all my viewers at this time is please comment down below what kind of reading would you like in the next love reading uh, for example last month we did how do they feel about you and this time we are looking into your next relationship so if you have any other such questions please do let me know so that next month that can be our theme love and light this is nikita